Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to be very special because today I'm finally back with another collaboration with one of my most talented doll friend on Instagram as well as on my YouTube. Make sure to check out the amazing dolls of Who Dolls because she's incredibly talented doll artist and she creates some of the most unique and amazing dolls. She have created this most fantastic debt eater and she will be sending this doll to me so make sure to check out her channel and also unboxing video will be coming very soon so please stay tuned for that. So when we both were talking about her collaboration, I told Hannah that I want a Harry Potter inspired doll. So she have created a very amazing debt eater and I just really like him. Hannah requested me to make a very cute pastel Lolita doll for her so I was just really excited about this theme because I have created lots of Lolitas and they are just my very favorite. Because I just love to play with textures and different kind of colors so if you guys are a very huge fan of pastel colors just like me then please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel hit the bell notification and now without further ado let's jump on to our video. So for this repaint video, I decided to work on this ghostly translucent skin tone Twyla and this is one of my most favorite doll from Monster Highlight because I just love to work with purples and pastels so she has such a fantastic color scheme. Now I'm taking my sharp scissors and I'm just cutting all of the doll hair as close to the sculpt as possible. You can also use your doll hair if it is in really great condition but my doll hair is very greasy so I'm just removing this from my doll. After this I'm taking my hair dryer just to soften the doll head and to remove this very easily from the body. And once the doll head become nice and squishy then I just remove this very easily from the body. After this I am taking my screwdriver and I am just scraping off all of the gluey hair from the inside of the doll head. After this I am just taking my exacto knife just to make a tiny slit at the back of the doll head and after this I am just removing all of the gluey nasty hair from the inside. And now the doll head become nice and clean and we can finally move on to the next step. So using my 100% pure acetone and a piece of fabric, I am starting by removing the doll original factory paint. You can also use your nail polish remover if it is acetone in it. And easy peasy the doll face up is fully removed and I'm really happy with the result. So now I'm finally moving on to the doll body. So I'm using my 100% pure acetone and a piece of fabric and I'm just removing all of this color texture from the doll body. You just have to be very careful while using pure acetone because it can really melt your doll body. But I'm just doing this very fast so the result would be amazing. I'm also not using any kind of sandpaper because it will make some kind of scratches on the doll body which I really don't like so I'm just using my pure acetone. And now the doll legs are looking fantastic so now I'm just repeating the same thing with the doll hands. And this step is very easy and very satisfying. So now I'm done with the doll body and I can finally move on to the next step. 
moving on to the doll outfit so i have taken a piece of lace and i'm just adding some kind of ruffles to it and this would be for the doll sleeves i'm just really not good at explaining doll outfits so please bear with me Off screen I have used my needle and thread and a little bit of glue and I just added both of the sleeves. I also added a little bit of ruffles in the end just to make them more voluminous and poofy. Moving on to the skirt so I have made this very cute pastel rainbow themed skirt for my doll which would be an underskirt and I just really love all the colors and all the textures. For the main theme, I decided to work on this very cute pale blue skirt and I have added a lot of ruffles to it just to make this extra voluminous in my style. And now I'm adding the underskirt and after this I will be adding the top skirt. And I just added both of them off screen and now the doll outfit is looking so much fantastic and I'm just really in love with it. What do you guys think about this? Please let me know in the comment section. But for my style this is looking very simple so I decided to add a lot more details to it just to make them extra extra cute. And now I'm finally moving on to one of my most favorite step which is adding a lot of detail to my doll outfit. So now I'm just adding some pom poms all around the doll outfit just to make this extra cute and pom pom can always make everything super adorable. And now the pom pom step is all complete so I found this charm in my local craft store and I just decided to add this to my doll just to make her outfit look fuller and complete. And now I'm finally done with the doll outfit so we can finally move on to the doll face up. So I have already sealed the doll face up twice with my Mr. Super Clear sealant. After this I am taking my watercolor pencil, soft pencils and makeup brushes and I am starting by repainting the doll face. So whenever you wanted to work on your doll face up, you just have to be very creative because you can add any kind of expression. You can make your doll face up look cute, look angry or any other kind of expression. So there are a lot of things which you can play with and it's always easy and fun to try new things. So this time I decided to make her look very cute and to make very big cartoony eyes for my doll because I have not done cartoony eyes for such a long time. So this time I just decided to stick with it and to make some very beautiful cartoony eyes. Using my black watercolor pencil, I am drawing the doll eyeliner and you just have to sharpen your pencil a lot because this step is very important and you want it to make this very delicate and as clear as possible. Using my dark blue color of watercolor pencil, I am drawing the doll irises. And make sure to take your time when you are doing this step because this is very important. And 
using my teeny tiny brush and a little bit of blue soft pencil i'm just adding some blushing to the doll irises just to make the doll eyes look much pop I also use my very teeny tiny brush and a little bit of water and I'm just spilling all of this soft pastel and the doll irises because I just love to do this step and each and every of my custom whenever I can't show you this step on my videos I mostly do this off screen but today I'm just telling you the secret because it can always look fantastic and whenever you use acrylic paints on your doll irises it always look very chunky so soft pencils or watercolor pencil when you add some water in it and apply this to your doll irises it always look fantastic I also used some purples and blues and I added a lot of colors to the doll irises and also the doll makeup. So here in this doll face up I'm just doing this strong because I just don't want it to make that kind of thick eyebrows for my doll. So later on I just removed these eyebrows using my pure acetone and I just made some very cute and shy eyebrows which would be much fantastic for my character. And now I'm just building layers again and again just to make all the colors look very opaque and vibrant. And this is one of my very favorite step because due to this step you can balance out all your colors and make them the desired opacity you want and I just really love this step. Using my black watercolor pencil I'm drawing the doll eyelashes. You just have to be very delicate when you are doing this step because you can't remove this very easily and it's always fun to work very slowly on your eyebrows and I just really love this step. So here in my face up I have changed my doll iris color a little bit and also her eyebrows because I was not happy with the first one so this one is more my thing and I think that this kind of sad or shy expression is very perfect for my character. And at last I added a little bit of freckles and some very big eye shines and with that my doll face up is all complete. And what do you guys think about her? Please let me know in the comment section. I think that I just really love her face up and she turned out very cute. I also decided to add a lot of pearl X powders all around the doll face just to make her extra shimmery. And I repeated this step about two times and now the doll face up is fully ready and I'm just really in love with her. Moving on to the doll here, so here I have two options to choose from. I have a lot of pastel hairs but these two were my favorite so I just decided to go for this one because I just love the pale color of it and it will really look with my overall design. And using my hot glue gun, I'm just gluing all these hair wefts directly to my doll. I just really enjoyed this step and this is very easy and fun to do and now I'm repeating the same thing with the rest of the doll hair. And I have just rerouted the doll hairline just to make the doll hairline look very clean and perfect. And now I'm finally putting the doll head and body back together. 
I think that my girl is looking very adorable and I'm really in love with her. I'm using this hairband which was from my sea dragon video so if you haven't checked the video I will give the link in the description box and I'm using her hairband for my doll and now I'm just adding a lot and a lot of details to it I am just adding all the things which I found on my craft box and I'm just adding them randomly this is a very creative step. You just have to be very creative and add whatever you want. So I'm just adding some feathers, little bit of flowers and also some tiny charms and beads just to make this extra cute. And now I'm finally done with my doll hairband and I'm just really in love with this. And what do you guys think about this? I think that this is one of the most cutest thing which I have done so far. And I'm just really in love with this. Moving on to the doll boots. So I have taken this monster hiker just the trolls and boots and I'm just really in love with the lilac and blue color scheme of it and it is going to look very fantastic on my doll. So I'm just not doing any kind of repainting because I love the color scheme. This is looking much good with my doll. I just decided to add some tiny pom-poms just to complete the overall look. And with that, my doll is all done. So as a gift, I also decided to repaint this Triclops face up for my friends. So I decided to use this Create a Monster doll head and I'm using my watercolor pencils, soft pencils and makeup brushes and I'm starting by repainting her face. And this time I decided to work on a triclops. I just do this kind of things very rarely, but I just love triclops. I love cyclops and I will be definitely repainting a whole series in the future. So if anyone is interested, then please let me know in the comment section. And now enjoy the process of the face up. And if I have to tell you something special, then I will be right back.
for the last minute detail I decided to add some eye shines adding some very tiny hearts and the doll face ups off screen and with that my doll face up would be all done I think that she turned out very beautiful and creepy at the same time and let's see that what Hannah will do with the rest of this doll and I'm just really excited to see her all complete by my friend and this is going to be fantastic and let me know in the comment section that what do you guys think about her face up and with that I'm finally done with my doll and face up I'm really happy that how she turned out and what do you guys think about her? What is your favorite thing about her? I think that I love her poofy outfit and her beautiful headband. So if you like this video, then please don't forget to like this video, share this video and follow me on my Instagram. And I will see you guys very soon next week. Goodbye.